Okay, so sorry I'm like out of breath. They're on like the fourth level. <laughs> so we are at Planty Queen's shop today. Uh, they said it was totally cool for me to come and film. So I wanted to show you guys what they had in stock and some of their rare plants. I mean, they have an Instagram and I'll link that down below and I'll link their shop down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. But let's just get into it. But they have these plants out here. I don't really know what's going on. But here's their entrance. Sorry if this is super weird. Do you want to say something? Welcome. Hi. I don't know. If you watch our lives, I'm very bad at all. Yeah. It's all good. So I have a Melfo cabinet too, which is really cool. still out of breath but look at these pink princesses for 230 and what is this I don't know what this is but it looks like a white knight oh and this massive foyer and I have a bunch of string of pearl baskets a string of turtles, not string of pearls. Stephanie's like clothes. <laughs> so many awesome plants. Dark Lord. Oh my god, they have Ring of Fire. For 275. These are also like all super rare plants. So I feel like to you, a not necessarily a planty person, is like, why would you spend $100 on a plant? Because that's kind of like crazy, but people do it. And it's totally kind of worth it because they are more rare and uncommon plants. They have Billy Etier up there. And some Gloriosum for 180. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you melting around? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just like keep seeing oh, things and I'm like, what? You guys have this plant? Okay, I won't post it. Okay. <laughs> I just like can't believe. I have never seen one of these in person. This is the Oreo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Alright, I'm out of here. Alright, Sorry, these are like holy grail. Holy Grail plants. So she's not a plant person, and I'm like, she is a plant person, but she doesn't like collect and buy rare stuff. And um, so she's probably like in sticker shock over there. But I'm just like, it's totally normal. These are good prices, actually. Like, and the fact that you can like come here and get them, yeah, is amazing. Especially like an Aurea and a, yeah, Florida Beauty, crazy, yeah. Mostly Foya and the Skidia here. They have some Tritoscania. Uh, some Ovavada that used to be variegated, it looks like, for 35. Some Kentiana. I don't even know what this is. There's the name. There's some Mathild for 132. This looks like some 
try the Lacunosa or something. And here are some Polynera. And here is just a casual Thai constellation. Beautiful new leaf. And some amazing aerial roots. Looks like an Arabap Wincy. Oh, it's an Arabap with Billy Thai cross cross with Billy Thai for 150. Melanochrysum with some massive leaves up there and there's a more immature one next to it. This looks, this is some type of a alocasia. And maybe a Cebu Blue there and a Red Brat Cactus. Oh, they have like a photo booth. Hi. That's fun. Um, this is a Syngonium Chia Pens. Another Hoya and another Syngonium Chia Pens. Oh my god, they have Anthurium Buchiai. Well, this one's tipped over. Anthurium Buchiai. I don't even know what this is. Some type of an Anthurium. I don't know. So cool. More Hoyas over here. This one's cool. Here's leaves. Here's a Syngonium nut pink spot, or one of the pink ones, I'm not sure. They have a variegated little mark. A lot of Hoyas, Hoyas singing something <laughs> for $1.99. This one's really nice. Looks like some kind of a random Peperomia. I don't know Peperomias that well. And a uh, Goriosum. It doesn't have a price on it, but it's beautiful. And a massive Billiate just hanging out in the corner. That one's 180. What a great price. And this looks like grow some of their plants in these makeshift greenhouses back there. And propagate probably. $99.99. Here's some maculata. Or no, a different one, but similar. Begonias. Some snake plants. Oh, this is a Monstera dubia. Mm. What a massive Monstera. Like taking over your space. So here are some of the plants we kind of missed in passing. Oh my god, this is an alfalfa red with massive, massive leaves for $6.50. They have like a lot of um, soil and perlite and like a all sorts of potting stuff. Oh, and here are their microfiber gloves that I heard are amazing to wipe your plants down with. Oh, and they have pond too, a pond kit. That's nice. A lot of totem poles. What is this? Is this a monstera or something? Uh, here's a philodendron glad hands, a random beautiful elbow with a brand new almost half moon leaf. They have a single me on there and like and a big gloriosum up there, and then a massive monster Adamsonii totem. 
These look like they're plants ready to be picked up that are already sold. There's another Gloriosa. And a massive Villiette up there. With a new little bee. Super cute planty queen stickers. Oh, I want that one. It smells so bad. So they also have a million hanging baskets up here. And on this side as well. Hi Stephanie. Some Hoya. I think I guess all this whole side is Hoya and Descidia. Some crocodile fern up there. And they have a huge Mikens here that I kind of missed. I mean, it's like almost budding on this back. I mean, more than likely, yes. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, right there. There's these Clarinervium here. Oh, I'm like zoomed in. Oops. I don't know guys, should I get it? I'm, this is the first day of our trip. <laughs> and we have like two more states. Look at just the red. That's amazing. Also, just like, so we just went and did a shop tour at Planty Queens here in Minneapolis and uh, Maya was just leaving when we came but Lily was there and she was super helpful and asked or answered some of my questions and yeah so I did decide to pick up a plant even though it's the first day of our trip and um, we have two more states to go to. <laughs> so this guy's just gonna be a world traveler, it's fine. So it's massive and it can't even fit in the frame. But this is a philodendron, crap, what do you call it? It's a cross between um, Atabapawensi Atabapa and Abiliatier. So I have both of those plants, but now I have their child and yeah it's amazing and it has a million nodes so either i'm gonna try to train it but i feel like it's kind of stuck in this position so i might end up propagating it um but yeah i don't even know how many leaves it has it's pushing out one right now seven visible nodes so it's a pretty big plant and it was 150 so I think that was a pretty okay deal for the size and how many nodes it has Stephanie is probably like you just spent way too much money on a plant but she's not a rare plant person so she doesn't know and yeah it's a good deal and the fact that I could get it in person and not have to deal with the shipping that's amazing also she gave me stickers <laughs> So that was really nice of her. Thank you, Lily, if you're watching this video. So they have like a bunch of stickers that um, they have and keychains and stuff, you were saying. Yeah, so. It's so cute. Yeah, oh, and I love this one. This is like the best thing. It's not gonna focus because I'm using the front facing camera but she gave me four stickers and that was really sweet of her. If you're in the area, um, I definitely recommend going to the shop. It was a little bit challenging for us to find the, not the building, it was just challenging for us to find the door. So if you ever have that problem, I was just messaging them through their Instagram and they responded like right away so we could figure out how to get in the building. Um, but once you know what door to go in, it's self-explanatory, you just, go up the stairs and then you're there so if you're ever in the Minneapolis area definitely come and check it out they have amazing uncommon and rare plants that I mean you years years ago when I got into the plant community you'd have to order online or just you know fond over them from afar because 
people didn't have rare plant shops so it's totally awesome that you could go to a place like this in person and take the plant home and not have to deal with shipping but they also do ship plants too in the u.s so i'll have all their information linked down below if you want to check them out and yeah but that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you guys will leave a comment down below on what your favorite plant was that they had in stock um i think actually my favorite plant they had in stock was probably the monstera aurea obviously because you don't see those in person and now i can say that i did and i probably would have tried to buy it if i could have but no so yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.